Hi guys. <clears throat> Today's May 20th, 2019. I have to tell you guys, um, there's a lot that I'm going to be going over. I had a couple dreams that really, really I need to get out because it has been confirming so many people. And I have a Bible study that I want to get out to. It's nothing major, just quick to the point. So I'm going to start off. Um, it was me that was in a vehicle and I was looking out the window and I saw a double rainbow. Okay. And I tried to take a picture, but my phone kept shutting off and going to different settings. So underneath the rainbow, I saw Jesus's face. All right. And said, this is the rapture. All right. I got to my brother Craig's house and him and I don't get along. He's the one that, you know, blamed me for my mom adopting me and taking his mom from him and not letting go of the past. Anyways, so um, he was using my sister Sarah, who's my, I'm the oldest of us three girls, and then it's Sarah. Um, Sarah's art ideas, and I was getting mad, and I saw my ex, Anthony, okay? This was my ex before I married my husband, sitting at the table, okay? And Craig was feeding him all lies about me. Okay, and there was plates that were on the table with napkins, but there was no food on it. And I told Anthony, don't believe the lies. He can't let go of the past. And I said, he's not going to believe you because we're still friends. And my husband was there in a blue t-shirt and I saw totes full of stuff. And I'm not sure if it was stuff for um, my nephew Keegan's graduation or not. Okay, which is Craig's son. And um, he, I guess he has a graduation on June 8th. Um, a party but of course I'm not going to attend and I saw a painting that was on it with clouds and I told Craig I'm the one with the art talent not Sarah and so I showed him my art and he said I'm choosing Sarah because I will never let go of the past and then I woke up and I was very very upset at this dream um, sorry I'm extremely tired got out of the shower I'm ready for bed Okay, and we all know that the rapture's close, like beyond close. We all felt it, and we all thought it was going to be um, at the end of the 70. I knew the fulfillment of the 70 had to be first. Um, okay, and I didn't know if it was going to be that day, a day after, a week after, as I've said. But this dream confirms the around the timing, okay? Um, and I, I'm going to read to you why okay the rainbow the reason I couldn't take a picture is because the rainbow was a sign for me okay in my heart of course God knows I desires and he grants that ask and you shall receive knock the door be open to you seek and you shall find okay and Craig means rock okay and Craig is not a rock really he's um he's very he is firm he's stubborn he's whatever okay um and sarah it means princess okay she was getting all this royalty from him all this attention and stuff when i was desperately trying and i was getting my little jealous envy knowing that i had a talent and she did not um but we were sitting at the table and my ex was there and that means highly praiseworthy and it also means priceless okay and it's priceless seeing um, how God uses people, even of the past, into reconciliation into the future. Okay, like I said, we were still friends. And I would never wish ill on anybody. Um, but anyways, and Keegan means sun and fire or fury. Alright, and I this graduation he was obviously graduating into something okay he was graduating high school but the plates were empty which we know that the wedding supper the 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 lamb the wedding marriage supper of the lamb is about ready we are about to go home to be with him and a double rainbow okay which what i have received okay is this that double means two right God made a covenant with, with us, 
he would never flood the earth again. Obviously, he's not. But half of America is pretty much underwater. And we have water, uh, rain that's supposed to be coming starting tomorrow all the way to June 3rd. Okay, it's supposed to be nonstop rain. And which gets me, as the days of Noah, so shall be the coming of the Son of Man. Well, the rains are heavy right now. And there's floods and things like that. Um, and then, like, the covenant of the ark, the, the, the covenant with Noah, you know, um, making all things new. Now, what I've received through the Holy Spirit, okay, was that there is one rainbow represents for the Jews promise and one represents for our promise okay the Gentiles the Jews and the Gentiles they're um, the church okay we are the church of God um, and we are the ones that God has promised that he's going to redeem us from the floods of life okay the storms in our life all right and there's two dates, okay, and I, I know how crazy I, I sound, okay, but in Daniel 9, okay, 24, when it says 70 weeks are determined upon my people, okay, I don't even have to finish reading because weeks mean Shavuot's and there's not been a completion of 70 Shavuot's. Okay, until June 8th. Now, there's talk from the calendar that um, May 22nd is Ascension Day, which would be to, in two days. And that's the day that Jesus went back into heaven. And that's 40 days after Passover, which was April, what was it? Whatever that that is, April 8th, 9th, something. Um, but the, anyways, 50 days would lead then to June 1st. Okay, the fulfillment of that um, is the end. Okay, he says that the end is from the beginning. And if we're already in the 71st year, okay, we know that that was up for the Jews. But God said that he gives us timing, you know, for him to redeem us as well. All right, and if that be so, then the 70 weeks is the Shavuot weeks. It's not from the only, you know, the establishment of, you know, Israel becoming the capital. And, you know what I mean? All of that. Um, and then, um, all right. So now I want to get to the other thing. Um, if, all right. We know that there is war brewing, and I have a strong feeling in my spirit that after Memorial Day, that it is going to get nasty, okay? And I have been led that, and what I was led, okay, was this, okay? This is what I, the words that I received from the Heavenly Father, don't look for signs, just look upon the sun, and that's not the sun like the sun in the sky. Okay, just look upon the sun. Okay, which means that we cannot let our our lamps go out. We have to hold them up high waiting for the sun. Okay, and the sun is in the sky. He's the light of the world. Okay, just like the literate sun. Okay, and just like there is a time for the sun to come up, there's also a time for the moon. And they have set times that they do every day all the time it's repetition like it does not change and that's the same way it is with God see and that is exactly what what it is he, God is not changing he has appointed times for his events to uh come out for, to, to occur excuse me not come out um and now I want to I don't even <laughs> a lot of the what God has showed me is is more so I would say for um, myself so I guess I was going to present more than what I I thought I was going to and I'm not but a little while ago okay I got off the phone with Darla 
and um, I talked to Princess Carly, and I've talked to um, a couple other people, like three or four people, and they have been get, receiving the exact same thing in my spirit, uh, in their spirit that I've received, okay? And this is as crazy as this gets. I'm going to tell you something. Um, I was in there talking to God, like I usually do, and all of a sudden my son comes in, and he's like, Mom, I got something really cool I want to show you. So I go outside, okay? <sighs> And there's this frog on his bike, but it wasn't just any frog, okay? And I have personally never in my entire 32 years of living seen a frog like this. Maybe you guys have, but it's not. After I show you these pictures, I'm going to show you the picture again and then explain what I've seen. And I actually decided to keep it, which I, I think I'm going to have to let the darn thing go. Because I, I have one of these, but it's a different color. I don't know if you can see that you see that color there all right I'm gonna show you this look very close to me to this picture all right you see this here that reminds me of a goat or a ram it's horn okay the devil all right the color of him is ash ash gray this is the actual color of him and he is a North American gray tree frog, okay? And they come from the East Coast um, through Canada. Um, and what I've received, like I've been saying today, is there is war coming. And we all know that. And the financial collapse is about to happen. M both my mother-in-law and sister-in-law, same time, got laid off today. Um, she's almost six months pregnant. And... Um, they both just got their places and then my brother-in-law um, he's afraid he's getting ready to get laid off because all these jobs and all these places are closing um, you know with the price of oil and and scrap and all that all that's down really really bad and we know that um, that causes gas prices to shoot up and I, I, like I said, I just know in my spirit that the collapse is coming. And with this frog, I know it sounds crazy, but I got, he's the color of ashes, okay? And on him was like the devil it's saying, you know, the Antichrist is coming, the beast system is coming, and I got pestilence, okay? Just like in the Exodus. And, um, yeah, and then I ended up getting uh, another dream it was very short I was finishing a game and I had to get to the end of it and when I did there was this box it was like a flat cardboard thing and it had a green bow and arrow that was sitting there and a bow that was hanging off of it and um I and I had to bend the bow back and then I woke up all right and the that what I got was the rainbow okay and when God says that he's going to draw his bow back it's you know he's going to it's going to be war all right because we know that he wins the war and then I'm going to read revelations four hold on I'm making sure I'm right yeah one through three and after these things, I looked, and behold, a door standing open in heaven. And the first voice, which I heard, was like a trumpet speaking to me, saying, Come up here, and I will show you things which must take place after. Right there was, a, was stating about the rapture, okay? He was up in God's present, and now he says, After this, since I just took you, I'm going to show you what's going to happen. All right. It says immediately, immediately, I was in the spirit. Okay. And behold, a throne set in heaven and one sat on the throne. And he who sat there was like a jasper and sardis stone in appearance. And there was a rainbow around the throne in appearance like an emerald. I, I could continue reading on. Okay. But then... Um, you know, that's confirmation of the rainbow, um, and the rainbow, okay, it's talking about how we're in heaven, it's, it's a, it's a promise of the rapture, the promise that he 
who sits on the throne is coming to get us. Jesus is coming to get us, okay? But we're also going to be in the spirit before chapter 5, which says, And I saw in the right hand of him who sat on the throne a scroll written inside on the back, sealed with seven seals. So we're in heaven when these seals are opened. Okay, and it says, Then I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and to loose its seals? And no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look at it. So I wept much because no one was found worthy to open and read the scroll or to look at it. But one of the elders said to me, do not weep. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed to open the scroll and to loose its seven seals. All right. And then, um, you know, it's it's talking. You keep going, going, going. And then it starts talking about um, how the first seal gets open. And it's the one who sits on the white horse. He who sat on it had a bow. Okay. My dream. And a crown was given to him, and he went out conquering to conquer. That is the Antichrist, okay? Given the crown. People, many people say that it is Jesus. It is not Jesus, okay? People just don't understand, okay? Because the Antichrist comes, and then in this, the second horse that comes is red, and it's granted peace, and he should kill one another, okay? And we know that that's war, um, and then you got the pair of scales and then you go on and then it says that, um, a quarter wheat. Okay. That's the financial collapse. All of this is coming and it's coming fast. Be, you know, and all this ties into the Daniel prophecy when, you know, he says the, um, the 70 weeks, which is 70 Shava Oats. Okay. 2018 was the 70th year. 2019. Okay. The 70th ending Shavuot has not occurred yet. And it says that, you know, these things will be fulfilled at the ending of the 70 years. Okay. So that's, I'm going to leave that with you. And y'all can just pray over this as always. And know that Jesus is coming. And the, this, this time is right. Like we, this is it. And I know we have said that, and I know many of us sound crazy, but we're not. We are crazy in love with Jesus, and we just we just want to obey God. And I hope that you all can find salvation before it's too late. God bless you all.